Ah, here goes another trip of me recording in my closet for two hours. Anyways, how much is Minecraft's world's worth? Dang near nothing? Is it Elon Musk money? Surely it can't be worth that much because there's only 18.5 quintillion different Minecraft worlds. Well, I'm here to find out exactly that. If you consider Minecraft's materials in all of its worlds, how much money are all the Minecraft worlds worth? So, first, we need to find out how much there are of everything in order to count it all. So let's start. There's one block of dirt. There's two blocks of dirt. There's three blocks of dirt. And after the universe died and collapsed, reappeared and died again, reappeared and then collapsed one more time, I got the answer, no. So obviously, I can't count every single block in Minecraft. But that's what this data spreadsheet is for. This spreadsheet basically shows the average of everything in a Minecraft world in terms of blocks. Well, the next thing we need to do is find out how much everything is worth in the Minecraft world and find the real life counterparts to the materials. Now we have to do some different math and measurements to figure out these numbers. Let's start off with dirt. So the average cost of a cubic meter of dirt in real life, a cubic meter because Minecraft blocks are three feet wide, three feet long, and three feet tall. The average cost is $804. Okay, time out. Before we go any deeper into this rabbit hole of how much Minecraft cost, I first wanna ask you, yes, you, to please subscribe. I work really hard on this channel and try my best to give y'all content that you will enjoy. So please subscribe for a cookie. Plus, it's free. And if you ever want to unsubscribe, you're always more than welcome to. But anyways, then we need to take the number of blocks of dirt in a Minecraft world. On average, it is 672,910,730. But wait, we aren't done yet. Then we need to take the total number of blocks and multiply by 804 because that's what one block of dirt will cost us. We end up with 541,020,226,920 dollars for just one world. Remember, our question is how much money are all worlds? For that, we need to multiply our cost of one world dirt by the total number of seeds there are in Minecraft. Seeds being the generator of Minecraft worlds. So let's see, there's uh, 18 quintillion, 446 quadrillion, 744 trillion, 73 billion, 709 million, 551,616. Number of worlds. So that brings our total cost of all the dirt in Minecraft to nine no nillion, 980 octillion, 61 septillion, 664 sextillion, 693 quintillion, 506 quadrillion, 821 trillion, 459 billion, 772 million, 702,720. But wait! We aren't finished. That is just the cost of dirt in all of Minecraft. And by the way, that's just using the average. I will now do the same for diamond. Then I'll just flash up some other materials I calculated. Diamond is a bit weird though, because diamonds are not like dirt. I mean, they are because there's different types of dirt, some more costly than others, but diamond is still weird, okay? So first off, we need to get the cost of one diamond in Minecraft. And I'm actually gonna use game theory's estimations because otherwise this video would take a lot longer than I want it to because it takes a lot of calculations to figure out how much carrots a Minecraft diamond is. But long story short, the cost of one Minecraft diamond is $33,500 per carrot. But we will just say that Minecraft diamonds are one carrot even though some can be way more than one carat in real life. Knowing this, we can use math to get the total cost of Minecraft diamonds in all worlds. That being 380,418,060,500,000. Which is to be expected to be a lot smaller because there's a lot more dirt than diamonds. Duh. So yeah, all we gotta do is do this for all of Minecraft. But something I have to say 
is no matter how you look at it, stone, water, and deep slate will always be the most abundant blocks besides air. Like have you ever seen a chunk dug out? You know that deep slate, stone, and water are by far the most abundant. Excluding air, they actually make up 80% of a Minecraft world. So what I'll do, after we come up with the final cost of all the Minecraft worlds, I'll add 20% to the final answer. That way, it gives a rough estimate of all the Minecraft material. So since deep slate isn't actually a real thing, I read up that slate is similar to deep slate, which I guess makes sense, cause you know, deep slate, slate, you know, very, very stupid. For stone, which isn't technically a real thing because stone means a lot of things in real life, but whatever. I read up on an article that said shale is a good pick and water is just water obviously. So the cost of stone came out to be, well, that. So yeah. Here is deep slate, which is indeed the biggest number we've seen so far. And then water came out to be that. So now, the estimated total price of all Minecraft worlds is, drumroll please, 565 no nillion, 94 octillion, 880 septillion, 741 sextillion, 821 quintillion, 581 quadrillion, 756 trillion, 970 billion, 471 million, 46,176. And yes, this gigantic number does have a name, but I'm gonna give it a nickname, that being the Minecraft number. But in true eyes, Minecraft isn't actually worth that much. In fact, it's worthless compared to this. Minecraft may be worth in terms of no millions of dollars in use of materials and resources, but something that is worth so much more is the memories and friends you have made along the way inside of these worlds. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. This took four days, 10 hours on the computer each day to do the math for this video and to write the script. So please subscribe. It would really mean a lot and it motivates me to pump more videos out for you. But like I always say, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one and